Hey boo, welcome. Whether you're stuck in a rut, looking to level up, or just make a change, this video will help you make meaningful progress. So let's dive in. Just start. Don't wait for tomorrow. Don't wait for Monday. And definitely, for God's sakes, do not wait for the new year. Research shows that it takes 21 days to make a habit, and it takes 66 days for that habit to become automatic. That means that within 90 days of doing something, it will be automatic for you. So that's the reason for this video. I have taken the 90 day challenge to do certain things that will get me to make meaningful habits. And I'm sharing this with you because I've gone through it. And if I can do it, so can you. Start by evaluating the changes you'd like to make and set clear goals. Create a plan. And once you've set those goals, then it's time to break those down by days, weeks, and months. But make your goals specific and measurable. You can't change what you don't define. In the book Atomic Habits, the author James Clear states that you do not rise to the level of your goals, but you fall to the level of your systems. So put systems in place. Focus on having a plan and creating systems that will mold your new habits for success and baby steps. Little by little, do not try to run before you can crawl. I thought I saw a bug, but there's nothing. <laughs> little by little, making small changes at first. You have to be consistent. Consistency is the secret sauce. Do not, I mean, do not. Let fear stop you from where you want to go. Plus, if it's scary, you should want to do it even more. Fear should be fuel. It should be used as motivation if you change your mindset. Being negative is so easy. It's easier than doing the hard work than putting the hard work. And if you don't change, your life will also not change. You have to work on changing your mindset. Think about it. Everything you want is on the other side of your comfort zone. So run from that comfort zone. Run away. And don't expect overnight success because it ain't happening. Everything takes time and patience is the key. Slow and steady wins the race. Look at Kobe. Kobe used to practice multiple times a day to get ahead from everyone else. So what makes you think that you're going to be the expert at something in two days? No way. It's not happening. Practice makes perfect. Next, I'm going to get into routines because I love them. I love routines. Why? Because once you have made that routine a habit, it makes your life easier when you realize that you're doing the things you want to do constantly you have that consistency because of that routine but you have to come up with a routine that works for you we all have different circumstances we all have different lives for example i have a full-time job i have a part-time job i'm married and i also have a 10 month old baby so my schedule isn't going to be the same compared to somebody that is married but doesn't have any children or has children but isn't married or has no children but two jobs so do what works for you do what works for you and another thing that i need to point out is that routines only work if they go hand in hand with flexibility and what i mean by this is let's say i, I can put my routine as an example 
I wake up. I take a shower. I get my baby ready for the day. I get myself ready for the day. I feed her. Then I exercise. I journal and then I start work. That is my morning routine specifically before my job. So I have a minimum to maximum rule for the things that I do. I'm going to put my exercise as an example. I would love to exercise for an hour. However, if I can only do 15 minutes, I'm happy with that. And 15 minutes is my minimum. If I cannot get in 30 minutes or the hour, if I do 15 minutes, I'm happy. I am satisfied with that. Okay. I'd love to journal for 30 minutes, but if I get at least 15 minutes, I'm also satisfied with that. And if you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like. Now, back to the video. The next thing to do is keep track of your progress. And this is a must because if you don't do this, then how are you going to feel like it's working? How? It wouldn't be possible. This can really leave you feeling discouraged and even lead to you giving up altogether. And we don't want that. You don't want that. You can keep track of your progress either with a calendar or with a journal. I feel like journaling really helps keep track, but maybe a calendar is better because you can put specific things you want to put on the calendar that you want to get done or whatever the case may be. Versus journaling, if you're going to write like a paragraph, things are going to get lost within the paragraph, but you do what you want. You do it how you want to and you do what works for you. I just, I do both. And take the time to reflect on what's working and what isn't and make sure that you tweak things as you go. Meaning if you started doing something and you're thinking things through and you're like, hmm, this isn't working the way I'm doing it. So move things around or you realize that you don't feel like doing this anymore because it's, you realize it's not for you and it's not something you want to do. Tweak it. You don't need to be rigid. There's no sergeant here telling you what to do. Ask yourself what's going well, but also keeping in mind to ask yourself what can be improved and go from there and keep tweaking as you go. The next point I want to touch up on is kind of like getting help from somebody else. And it's a way to stay accountable with your progress. So in order to do this, you can ask your spouse, a, a family member, or even a friend. And you can say, hey, this is what I'm doing. I have these goals that I'm trying to meet. I'm trying to do this challenge. And I want to know if you could check in with me once in a while and check my progress. And you know why this works? Because it gives you a sense of responsibility and you value this person's opinion. So you'll think twice before you actually not do the thing or stop doing the things. Because when this person comes to check up on you and be like, hey, how's, how's it been? Like, have you been doing this, that, and the other? You're going to be like, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing that anymore. And this other person is going to be like, this person is so inconsistent. So staying accountable with the help of someone else really works. It works for me. I'm using this for growing my YouTube channel because it's something I really want to do. And I told my husband, I was like, I need you to check up on me, make sure I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. And I'd really appreciate it. And he's just helping. And that is how you transform your life in 90 days. 66 days are what make habits automatic. And that is our 90 day challenge. You start with setting clear goals, breaking down those goals into small habits, track your progress, stay accountable, and grow your mindset. No.
change your mindset to a growth mindset. If you're ready to start your 90 day challenge and make some changes in your life for good, comment down below. Let me know your goals. Let's keep each other accountable. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.